In this video, we'll talk about placenta previa. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one, so stay tuned till the end. Placenta previa simply means low lying placenta. In this particular image, you can see where the normal placenta stays and how does the placenta look like in placenta previa. So overall, the placenta is positioned abnormally. In most of the cases, placenta partially or completely covers the cervix, causing bleeding. And generally it happens in third trimester and most of the cases these bleeding are non-painful. Uh, so these are painless bleeding. And the incidence of placenta previa is approximately 1 in 200 pregnancies. So it's quite common actually. So let's see what is placenta previa, how it can be treated and what are the complications associated with it. But before that, we should know what is a placenta. It turns out placenta is a temporary organ that develops during pregnancy. Here you can see the arrow pointing out the placenta. If you want more details about placenta, how it forms and what is the function of it, you can watch the video on I button. But it is com composed of both fetal and maternal tissue. So this is simply the connection between the fetus and the mother. So placenta has different blood vessels. It has maternal and the fetal blood vessels which sort of like communicate among each other. There is chorionic part which is fetal part and there is also maternal part and there is gaseous exchange happening between these uh, blood vessels actually. Anyway, let's talk about quickly the functions of placenta. Placenta is an active site for gas exchange, nutrient transfer, waste removal, hormone production and it gives the embryo an immune protection. It works like a barrier preventing many harmful substances to enter from mother's body to the fetus. So that is why placenta is super important for the developing embryo. And positioning of the placenta is also very important and in this video we'll talk about the placenta previa where the placenta is positioned lowered compared to the normal region. So it could be marginal or even complete. In case of marginal, the cervical opening is not totally covered by the placenta. So that is why it is known as marginal. And in case of complete, there is basically the placenta exactly situated on the top of the cervical opening guarding it completely. Now we would understand that complete placenta previa is more complicated than the marginal one. So the complete placenta previa would lead to bleeding but let's see why. Because see the growth of the lower uterine segment of the pregnant uh, segment during the pregnancy. So the lower part of the uterus becomes more dense, thicker with blood vessels and everything during the late stage of the pregnancy, especially in second or third trimester. At that same point of time, if placenta is on the top of it, there could be rupture of the blood vessels in the placenta. That might lead to overall bleeding uh, through the vagina and that might be often painless. Especially at the end of the pregnancy, there is more and more uh, uterine contract. Uh, uh, contractions and these contractions lead to uh, bleeding through the placenta. Okay, so there could be several complications due to placenta previa. In terms of maternal complication, the main problem is blood loss. If too much blood is lost, it's not good for the mother. When it comes to fetus, the uh, main problem is hypoxia because placenta is an active site of gaseous exchange between the fetus and the mom. And also there could be a high chance of preterm delivery when there is placenta previa. Now overall placenta previa symptom is painless bleeding which is bright red in color generally happens after 20 weeks in pregnancy and generally it is painless but it could be worrisome depends on how much bleeding is happening. The bleeding may occur with a pre-labor contraction or uh, it, or it can also lead to pain sometimes. So question is, what is the cause of placenta previa? The exact pathology is not really known, but there are evidences to suggest that damage from previous caesarean sections, previous abortion events, maybe induced or spontaneous, or uterine surgery, 
or even multiple pregnancy can increase the likelihood of placenta to be displaced and placed in a wrong location. So that overall says that all these are the factors which can lead to a higher risk of placenta previa. Other than that, there are several external risk factors such as smoking and drinking during pregnancy, uh, intrauterine fibroids, and lastly, if the maternal age is more than 35 years, there is a risk factor associated uh, with the pregnancy and placenta previa is one of uh, that risk factor. The diagnosis of placenta previa can be done using ultrasonography. Uh, if you want to learn more about ultrasounds and how ultrasound work, you can watch the video on I button. But anyway, you can see this overall USG uh, image and how you can see how the uh, internal os is covered by the placenta in this particular USG image. So question is how this can be managed or treated. I mean, there is no way to treat it and uh, make it like before. So basically, the positioning of the placenta is different and that is leading to complications. So it has to be managed properly. So overall, pelvic rest is important. No vaginal examination or intercourse should be done if a person has or uh, if a person or a mom is detected with the placenta previa situation. Also, several steroids can be useful. Um, that can help the baby. Uh, if there are preterm birth, there are specific medications that can be provided to, to the baby that can increase the likelihood of survival. Now, if it is basically intrapartum, in that case, what happens is uh, cesarean section has to be performed properly. At around 36 to 37 weeks, it is advisable to do it. And uh, basically, one thing one has to remember that in case of placenta previa, normal delivery is not possible. So overall cesarean section is a better choice in this case. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, please support our channel using super thanks. See you in the next video.